All right, so update time. So past couple of weeks, we have been very busy behind the scenes. Uh, I think at this point, all of these summer solution registrations have been sent out. There might be a few still as we're going back through uh, that for whatever reason didn't pop when we went through and populated the list. Um, but everybody should have received those by now. Uh, we're doing quotes daily. And so we're, we're getting quite a few quotes coming in. We're trying to get to those within a couple of business days as, as they come in to get those back out to customers. We appreciate all those. Keep them coming. A uh, couple other things. Um, within the past week or so, uh, we now have our part-time technician. He is licensed. We got him licensed. And we have started our full-time technician as well. He is licensed, and we're going to go on to get him some additional licensure um, moving. But he's got around a decade of experience uh, I'll be introducing him later. We'll, we'll post a picture of him on social media just so everyone knows. Uh, his name is Adam. And so we'll be uh, kind of pushing him out there just so everyone sees his face as well. And so when he's driving around in a Shipley truck, you know, uh, he'll be, uh, everyone knows who he is. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be putting that out here in the next couple of weeks. So that's great news. So we've got an additional full-time technician as well as a part-time technician. So we've met that goal. Uh, and then, of course, my wife, Michelle, she's licensed as well. And so if we have some issues or somebody's sick or something happens, she can always fill in if we need to. Uh, the plan is to not have that need. So uh, the initial goal and the problems that I've highlighted and recognized over the last couple of years, which is um, not being able to keep up with demand, I'm hoping that's solved. So hopefully we've, we've solved that problem. Uh, have a good feeling about the full-time technician, Adam. Um, again, him having a decade of experience uh, really helps. Um, he'll, he'll be able to and has hit the ground running. He already is familiar with a lot of things. Uh, so he'll be riding around with me for the next couple weeks, uh, just sort of training and just, you know, him and I learning how each other work and, and, and being able to just really start to assimilate with each other and kind of get on the same page. So very exciting there. Uh, the the part-time technician as well, that'll be a couple days a week. Uh, so you will see him as well. Uh, we'll introduce him here as the time goes by here as we get closer to April. Um, introduce him as well. Uh, and so the plan there is, you know, full-time technician, me, and then part-time technician, uh, we should be able to do everything that comes our way in a timely manner. Um, you know, cause in, in past seasons, we've been fine, uh, until it rains. Like last season, we were perfectly fine. We were maybe a day or two behind each month until mid August. Then it rained for the next four or five weeks. We lost literally 20 working days and that just put us, that blew our entire season up late summer. So we're trying to avoid that by kind of getting ahead of everything. Um, and also being able to uh, just take on additional business because we've had to put a hard stop to things. Last year, we had to put a hard cut off to customers um, just because I didn't want to take on far more work than we knew we could do. I, I would have felt as though that would have been very dishonest and disingenuous. and I didn't want to do that. Uh, this year, we're not doing that. Uh, we're going to grow as the work comes, and hopefully we can just take all the work that comes our way. The other thing, as you see these items beside me, uh, the first is the Mr. Blower. This is going to be for mosquito applications. Uh, we're going to be introducing those, slow rolling those out uh, to customers. It's something we've been asked for for years. I, I just I haven't done it because I haven't learned it. I didn't know it. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's getting solved this year. I'm getting to know it, getting to learn it. So... As it goes this year, I will be the one doing the applications uh, so I can become very, very knowledgeable with, with just the application process, dealing with any types of snags, just any issues that come up, I can work those kinks out. Uh, the other technician, Adam, has experience with Mosquito already, uh, so he'll be able to help me with that as well. Uh, but that is a service that we are going to start offering. So this year, we're going to just kind of soft roll it out uh, to a couple dozen customers, maybe three dozen customers. Um, at an introductory price, uh, it'll be a pretty good deal for people because uh, we're going to kind of learn as we do it with customers. And, and it's a, an additional service that we can offer customers to help satisfy that need that that has been there for a while. We just haven't been able to satisfy it. So looking forward to that. The other thing is a backpack sprayer. So I have held off on these. These have been around for almost a decade now. Uh, they're battery powered backpack sprayers and they've been around for almost a decade. Like I said, there's been numerous iterations. This is now the third version. And from all the other technicians that I'm friends with around the nation, they've used the previous two versions. This one came out last year and the technicians that I have spoke to have said 
that the previous versions of the flow zone had flaws, these have been fixed in this version. So I've held off on that. Uh, there's also some application tips and such, because essentially it has power washer tips that you use to apply with. Um, so I've held off until now. Uh, now all the technicians will have one of these as well. So what that means for the customer is that we can now more efficiently apply product to your house and uh, do it in a much more efficient and effective manner rather than just the regular power sprayers. We will still have the power sprayers with the hose and everything because for those second and third story houses, we're still going to need the power sprayers. So we're going to kind of run a hybrid setup here where we'll have the big power sprayer systems. I'm, I'm looking over here because they're over here. Um, we'll have the power sprayer system still in the trucks, but then we're also going to have the backpack sprayers with us as well. And so these are four gallon hand sprayer or backpack sprayers. And so that's going to allow us, you know, to do a house effectively uh, for the most part. The vast majority of our houses we will be able to do, uh, you know, with that. We will have reserve tanks, just water tanks on our trucks with us, and we'll be able to fill up with those on the get-go. So this will be a new piece of equipment that we're going to start utilizing very heavily this year. Uh, so when you see us with the backpack sprayers, that's why. Um, service is going to remain the same. We're still going to use the same product that we've used all these years. Uh, and, and so that service to service warranty, everything, the one-time four-month warranties, all of that stuff stays the same. No change there at all. Uh, we're just kind of updating with more efficient application tools. And like I said, I've, I have held off on that now for specifically the last three to four years. I've been very close to buying one and using one. Uh, but there was an issue on the version two that people had valid concerns with. Appears as though that's been solved. So now I'm all in. I'm ready for them. So again, uh, we'll be having those as well. So if you see us walking around with the green backpack sprayers treating your house, again, it's still going to be same efficacy, same service, same warranty, all of that, same price just a newer tool that allows us to be more efficient. Um, you know, cause one of the things, uh, some of the larger homes or homes with decks, uh, we're going up second story decks, going around terracing, landscaping, things like that. Happens very rarely, but occasionally the hose will get caught. We knock somebody's flower pot or landscaping item over. We break it. We knock on the door. We're honest with customers. Hey, we're sorry. The hose caught this. That doesn't always happen, but it does from time to time. This eliminates a lot of that. It eliminates the inefficiency of, having to drag the, the hose around the house, get it caught on something, walk back around, unhook it, come back around, or dangling a hose over a second story deck, things like that. This is going to help us just be a little more efficient. Um, and it's just, yeah, the technology is finally there. It, it's been, it's, it's time to do it. So we're jumping in with both feet on these for sure this year. So expect us with the green backpack sprayers. Uh, we'll be walking around the houses using those and they're battery powered. Uh, so you won't hear the gas motor. Um, and then, like I said, I will be slow rolling out the mosquito application this well, or this year as well also. So a couple exciting things that we're ready to hit the ground running with this year and be better uh, suited to satisfy uh, a plethora of needs for the customers. And, uh, and the big, big thing is, is, you know, this is the most licensed technicians we've ever had. And so I'm very excited. You know, that's been a, a major, major issue that I have known internally that, I lose sleep over is a lack of uh, just technicians to be able to satisfy and, and properly take care of the customers the way I want to take care of. And so I'm hoping, uh, you know, it's March 7th. I'm hoping we've got that that solved right now uh, and, and everybody will be trained and, and ready to hit the ground running here in the next four to six weeks, you know, as it warms up into April and into May and the main season. So uh, yeah, just an update. Um, some new pieces of equipment, a couple new technicians. I'm excited. Uh, appreciate the registrations. Um, we, I'd say we're about 50% of the registrations we've sent out. People have already prepaid and sent back in. So thank you very much. We appreciate that. Uh, and keep the quotes coming. We're actively taking on the quotes and trying to get them back to people within one to two business days. Keep those coming. Uh, and, and yeah, very excited. Very excited. Thank you guys very much. Have a good day.